Hi, Carl. Hi, Talia. So, as you know, I joined Juzi a couple months ago. Um, it's really great to be on the team. Well, it's uh, great to have you on the team. I look forward to making a video together for World Plone Day. Yeah, well, as you know, I'm still quite new to Plone. I've worked with Plone since September last year, more on the content editing side. I'm, I'm not a developer, I'm more of a linguist. Um, before that, I had a little bit of experience with some other systems like WordPress. I built my own blog while I was at school. Um, and more recently, I edited some university material and uploaded material on the Stellenbosch University system. And all I can say is, what a pleasure to work with Plone. Uh, I completely agree. Uh, I've been working with Plone for 15 years now, and I feel exactly the same way. Plone is an absolute pleasure. Um, we thought we'd do a and a style video about uh, some of the basics of Plone. Uh, specifically from the viewpoint of someone like you, uh, a newbie to Plone, who is mainly a user and not a developer. Uh, yeah, so let's get to the Q&A. All right, so, um, so you say Plone is a CMS, what does that mean? Well, a CMS or content management system is a term used for a website where firstly, the user can log in, and secondly, manage their website content, uh, as the name says. Uh, we put a framework in place for the user and then build the website on top of this framework. Oh, okay, so it sounds a bit like you're building a house um, on top of a foundation. Um, you mentioned users have to log in to manage the website content. Does every user get their own login? Yep. Uh, that that's to make sure that only people who are allowed to view, uh, add or edit certain content can do that. And since every user has their own login, uh, it is really easy to track what specific users did. Mm, yeah, that's really good to know that whatever I do on the website can be tracked. Um, <laughs> yeah, what kind of content can users add then? Uh, well, all kinds, really. Uh, we have pages, news items, text, images, videos, or just a YouTube link to a video, documents, sound clips, uh, links to podcasts, so, so many. Um, we can even build custom content types uh, that we develop for specific uh, clients. Um, and you can set permissions so that not all users can add all types of content. Uh, user permissions restrict what specific users can add and even where they can add it. Okay, so once they have added the content, can they edit the content? Most definitely. Uh, and users who didn't originally upload the content can even go in and make changes as long as they've been given the permissions to do that. And if they want, they can add a change note to describe the edits to other users. Okay, yeah, so, so if more than one person is allowed to edit an item, um, what happens when two users try and edit the item at the same time? I'm sure that can cause a bit of a mess. <laughs> well, luckily, the Plone developers thought of that. Uh, when someone is editing an item, that item gets locked, uh, and an item can't be edited by more than one person at a time uh, when it's been locked. Once they've finished editing, the item becomes unlocked. Uh, and you can even see who has locked specific items so that you can contact them if you need to edit that item urgently. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I've, I've definitely had to do that. Um, it's really useful to know who to send a message to say, <laughs> get out of that item, please. Exactly. Um, yeah. Um, why... So why would you say is a content management system or content management platform like this um, a really good thing for most business, businesses and organizations? Well, you know, at, uh, at Juzi, we've worked with a, a number of different organizations um, where users have needed to upload different types of content. Uh, one of our clients is a high school. Uh, so let's use them as an example. Uh, their teachers and even some of their students manage different layers of content on the website. In this specific scenario, we have teachers uploading content for the departments, 
uh, i.e. math teacher uploading math contents and students uploading content that is meant for students and the student body. body. Um, and the front office obviously uploads content meant specifically for parents. This works so well for them because um, after all, each department knows exactly what they want on the website and also knows how they want it. The science department knows, for example, which worksheets need to go up. The front office knows which application form must be uploaded. The student knows which images or newsletters must be uploaded and they can tweak it themselves until it shows up just the way they need it. All right, yeah, so it sounds like Plone's also ideal for working together, even when everyone is remote, um, which is the new normal, although I don't know how new it really is. <laughs> um, um, are there any other features of Plone's user and permission system that you haven't spoken about yet that you'd like to mention? Sure, uh, again, uh, so many, um, but a number of features that can add a lot of value to a team, um, for instance, um, private content for, for certain users. Um, certain users have specific rights on the website so that they can add, edit, um, or just view specific content once they've logged in. Uh, users can submit content. For example, there would be a team leader in place that can publish the content once it's been, uh, once it's been approved. Um, and also even expiring content. Uh, it's very handy for stuff like vacancies and tenders that expire after a specific time. Um, but you know what, uh, I can wax lyrical about Plone all day, but at its core, it's an easy to use, robust, secure and scalable framework that allows us to build beautiful and functional websites. Yeah, I've also come to realize that over the last few months, um, like we say on our GZ website, Plone is elegant and mighty. Um, thank you, Carl. That was a really good chat. I hope it was useful or at least entertaining to our viewers, both those new to Plone as well as the experts. Well, thanks for the time. Cheers. Bye.